What's up guys? Today we're gonna take a look at the Hoop Culture Duffel Bag Backpack. So I picked this up on the Hoop Culture website. As you can see there it says Hoop Culture. Um, this was 100 US, so roughly around 140 Canadian because I live in Canada. Um, I already packed the bag for you guys, so you guys know what it looks like when it's already packed and how much you can fit inside the bag. All right, so as you guys can see, I got the Fresh Prince colorway. Well, that's what it looks like. Um, it's a very colorful bag all the way around until you get to the back panel, but who's really looking at a back panel? So a very pleasing looking bag with some Hoop Culture branding, even on the zippers, or the zipper stitching. All right, so the first pocket we're gonna take a look at is the front panel. So this one, you can't really fit a lot in here, in my opinion, probably just a little bit of clothing. So I just put in a regular white Nike t-shirt. You can probably put compression shorts if you're at a tournament, an extra pair. You can put some socks in here. In this compartment, I would probably put deodorant. I put accessories in here, so I would put headbands, socks, shooting sleeves. In here, I only got a pair of socks and a pair of shooting sleeves. Um, there's also nice hoop culture branding inside, nicely stitched in there. And I really love these zippers, more hoop culture branding on all the zippers. Alright guys, the next compartment we're going to take a look at is the valuables pocket. As you can see here, there's more hoop culture branding on the zipper. What I would keep in here, alright, whoops. Well, that was a uh, finger tape for basketball if I jam my fingers. Uh, these are my house keys. As you can see, it's Mewtwo. That's pretty hard, right? And deodorant. Just in case, you know, after a tournament, you don't want to smell. We'll get this out of the way. And that's pretty much it. You can put a wallet in here. You can put your cell phone. I have a 7-inch phone right here. Fits perfectly in there. Big phone. Closes up nicely. All right guys, the next compartment we're gonna look at is not really a compartment, but more a uh, feature. Here is where the backpack straps come out. If you wanna turn your duffel bag into a backpack. So as you can see, nice design here on the straps. Just a regular padded backpack strap. And on this one, I like this one, you got the Hoop Culture branding. So if you wanna just connect your strap to the bag, just clip these together, just like that. We got your backpack duffel bag. All right guys, we're gonna get into the main compartments of the bag right now. So first off, this is actually the shoe compartment of the bag, but I put a basketball in here because I believe it fits best. It's kind of a tight squeeze though, where your ball is securely inside the bag. As you can see in here, you got more branding inside of the bag. I love that. And on the next pocket, the main compartment, just opens from the top here. This is where I would put my shoes. I'm size 8. I can fit a bunch of shoes in here. These are just my Jordan 33 SEs. Royal Blues, and as you can see inside we have a another zipper. This is perfect actually for a phone. This is where I would probably put my phone or my wallet because no one is actually going to go into my bag while it's on my backpack and then go through another zipper without me catching them compared to the top one where someone can just easily slide it open, put their hand inside, get whatever. And here is probably where I would put valuables, you know, earbuds. A phone, it's a pretty deep pocket, it fits my whole hand in there. So also inside the main compartment, we have the laptop sleeve. I probably would not carry a laptop with me at all to a tournament, unless it's over the weekend. So in here I just put my Gatorade towel. I would put also t-shirts in there, shorts. Um, you can put a Mac in there, a MacBook, sorry. It would fit in there, it'll kind of leak out a little bit. And then this strap should secure it, just like that. But I would just prefer not a laptop because this is kind of small. 
put a tablet in here, maybe a, a Chromebook if you guys rock with a Chromebook. If not, a Gatorade towel, a t-shirt, shorts, compression shorts. All that stuff is good in here. If you go to school, you can put books in here, a notepad, and whatnot. So if you guys are wondering if this bag can fit two basketballs inside. So if you guys are wondering if this bag can hold two basketballs, it can. So I'm going to put one in the bottom compartment. I'm also going to put one in the top compartment. Squeeze it in here. And you're going to notice we still have quite a lot of space. Some other stuff. Um, you could probably just put an extra t-shirt in here, probably fit things in the side. It will close, no problem. If you're carrying junior sized balls, you could probably fit three in here. You could, you could probably push it to the limits and put three in here, maybe. Probably not actually. There you go, you can fit two basketballs in here, no problem. Also, you can fit a basketball and two pairs of shoes inside. I'm size eight, eight and a half. Or nine, so around eight to nine, depending on the brand and what kind of shoes. I'm gonna just put my Jordan 34s in here, like that, and then beside it, put my 33s. Here, just gonna smush them in there. If you're probably above size eight, it's gonna be much harder to fit two pairs of shoes in here, plus a basketball. But there you go. I just fit two ball shoes in there, size eight, zip it up, there we go, and the bag looks nice and filled. <laughs> Alrighty. Fresh.